Luke McFarland with McFarland Mortgage Group. We are here at Waterside. I'm here with Paula McCabe with the First Shore. Hello. Check out this menu, guys. All the directory. We've got, um, let's see, crop juice, distillery, duck donuts. I think that'll be a favorite of mine. Kill ones is going to be my Ooh, favorite because I'm a white Oh, oh my you God. hit on it. Okay, hold on. Go back. <laughs> We've awesome. already messed it <laughs> up. <laughs> really? Did they broke it? <laughs> All right. So, Luke, um, say I have a potential client and we're looking at houses, and I'm like, "Hey, we need a pre-approval. Uh, what would be the first steps that they take to get that pre-approval?" What I usually do is my customer will call me up. We'll talk about what they're looking to accomplish first off, so I kind of get an idea of where to direct them. Okay. Um, we have an online application that 90% of our customers can do. They'll Just go, a click. Yeah, like, they click on there, they have my website, they'll go there, they'll fill the application out because our system is fantastic. Okay. So they'll fill the application out. Usually when I get the application, I'll go over it, I'll call the customer back up, we'll go over the details of it, I'll request certain documents. Usually I call it the three pillars of buying a house. You got your application, which has your credit on it, okay. has all the facts and stuff like that as far as your job time, that kind of stuff. Okay. Second pillar is usually your income, because obviously dead income is a big portion of it. Right. So I get all their income documents that they need. And then the third part is the assets. So what do they have available for cash? Because obviously we have programs zero down. Mm -hmm. You got a bunch you want to put down. So usually I try to fit the program best for their situation. So okay. that's pretty, pretty much our beginning of the process of it. So kind of simple. Yeah, like simple. Sh short process, but documentation is key. Correct. And the big part for us is, is working with you guys because a lot of times debt to income is payment driven. So I gotta kind of give you some options, parameters go by. So between me, you, and the customer, we work together and we try to give them the right house for them. Right, nothing over their head. Correct. You gotta make sure they're Correct. not gonna be stressed out with their house payment. <laughs> and, and that's part of the big call I have for them because people may qualify for five grand a month, right. but maybe they're like, I don't wanna be around three grand. So right. we kind of work together to get that lined up. Once me and the customer have figured out, we loop you back in and we work together for it. Okay. So, Luke, um, one time I'm out there showing and I get my client under contract, like, how long is that until close? Like, what do you usually recommend? Because my big question I always ask is, like, what do I put on the contract? Like, when can we close? So, that, like, how long does it take you to get loan commitment? What we do is we like to ask for a 30 day closing. It's usually standard for everybody. If we can do it quicker, I mean, I've had loans close in 20 days, so it just depends. But usually 30 days is comfortable. So I would ask for 30 days, it's probably solid. 30 days, yep. and you can do it probably a little bit sooner okay. if, yep. if the documents line up and people right. are cooperating. Okay, yep. all right, good, thank you. All right, Luke, so um, we went over pre-approval, uh, we went over uh, loan commitment time. Um, so in my personal experience, I've had some instances where we we didn't close because uh, my clients were unaware of things they probably shouldn't do when they're looking for a home. So what are the things we should do when we're under contract for a home? Usually what we'll do is we'll give them like a talk to them up front and say, hey, do not open any accounts. Okay. Do not buy anything ever. Like accounts, like, like credit cards. Credit cards. Uh, Don't get a new car. We can wait. Oh, no new cars? Yep, no new cars. <laughs> no new house uh, and new car. Not, can't have the cake you need it too. Those are two of the biggest things I see. The third thing I probably see is I tell customers about their bank account. Watch your bank account. If you don't have to use your bank account for little things, because deposits, we watch them. So if they have, let's say, high things speaking, they put a bunch of money in down the road, we watch that. So we we'll always continually update that kind of stuff. So pretty much don't open any accounts and don't put any large deposits in your account. Okay. Those are two of the biggest yeah. things. Okay. So. All right. Well, there you go. So let's not screw up the closing by doing those don'ts. Listen to your mortgage guy. Listen to your mortgage guy. There you go. There he is. So I've got a few pertinent questions for you, and I've got one more subject to talk about. We're going to talk about closings, but we're going to do that as we eat ice cream. How about that? Awesome. Okay, good. <laughs> Luke, 
Um, I know we talked about like what not to do, and we didn't. Uh, we didn't go out and buy any new cars, and uh, we got our loan commitment. Now closing. What what do we do for closing? All right. So in lending, there's a closing disclosure that gets sent out. No, you have three days of rescission period, waiting period before you close on loan. So basically, what our company does is usually nine days out from closing, we'll order the closing disclosure. While the customer acknowledges that, that we've eliminated that three-day waiting process. And now it's a matter of the closing day comes up, the CD is balanced, they go to closing, we fund it, and they're home. Everybody, good, you get the keys. Get right? the keys, yeah. All right, that's yep. a, sounds like a simple process. Although we know there could be some hurdles, and that's why you have a good team fighting for you. Um, but I hope you got our tips from how to make uh, the loan application process and everything go smoothly. Um, and hopefully we get to work with you soon. Yep, reach right. out with any questions, guys. Yes, all right.